Brown, another chance, another opportunity, a uh, game in which you guys uh, had a chance to take the lead, win the ball game. How would you kind of assess, describe how this one turned out? Um, you know, we, I think we played well enough to win and, and also not well enough to win at the same time. Um, you know, in the third quarter, we built up a big lead and, you know, we allowed them to, you know, get back into the game. We took our foot off the gas and, um, you know, they just kept putting the pressure on us and, and, and made us come back, you know, late in the fourth. And um, obviously I take, you know, full responsibility missing that free throw. I got to make the free throw step up there. That's an easy point for us. But, um, you know, we didn't lose the game there, but I take that responsibility for sure. And I got to be better. Ron, it seems almost unfair to ask this question, knowing what you guys as a team last season went through um, in terms of adversity, a lot of that off the court. When you look at it now from a basketball standpoint on the court, would you consider this adversity for you guys? Um, you know, it's a challenge for us. It's a little adversity. I mean, you know, the injuries and things that's going on with our team and you know, obviously AD being so, you know, it's a big piece of our team. I mean, a huge piece of our team. And, then you add Dennis not being out there, another ball handler, another scoring uh, guy, another commander of our offense and our defense. It's, it's, a, it's a big blow for us. So, you know, we're in a rough patch right now, but we'll figure it out. That's for sure. Obviously a big one on Wednesday uh, with Utah. What's the message from you to your guys right now? Um, well, I mean, it's our next it's our next opponent. It's our next challenge. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a hell of a challenge. We know that team has been playing extremely well, one of the hottest teams in the NBA, if not the hottest team, along with Brooklyn. Um, and also along with Washington, if you really want to keep it honest, Washington's won five straight too. So, um, but Utah's been playing extremely well basketball this year. They've been moving the ball, sharing the ball. That ball is popping, and they're shooting the hell out of the three ball. So we got to we got to be uh, be able to cover the three point line for sure. Thanks, Brett. Hey, Minimum, please. Well, Brian, who keeps you uh, honest when it comes to your workload? Like, obviously, you have the competitive juices and you keep yourself in shape to be able to make yourself available for your teammates. But is there someone who is like, hey, maybe we're, maybe we're going too far right now. We should, we should look at um, you know, finding some ways to rest. Uh, I mean, I'm resting now. I'm sitting here talking to you guys. I'm resting when I get in my car and head home. I'm resting when I get home. I'll rest tomorrow. Um, you know, I think this whole narrative of uh, you know, LeBron needs more rest or I should take more rest or I should take time here. Um, it's become a lot bigger than what it actually really is. Um, from, I, I've never talked about it. Um, I don't talk about it. I don't believe in it. Um, you know, we all need more. It's a, a, a fast turnaround from last season, uh, and we all wish we could have more rest. But, you know, I'm here to work, and I'm here to, to, to punch my clock in and be available to my teammates. And, and if I'm hurt um, or if I'm not feeling well, um, then – uh, we can look at it then, but um, I have nothing but honest people around me, but I'm also honest with myself as well. And, um, you know, me having the love for the game um, and me being able to be available to my teammates is more important than anything. Hello, Lauren. Hey, LeBron. Um, why, why is it that that is, why, why is it that, that that is the most important thing to to be out there every night and to hold yourself accountable and, and push yourself when you know there is a sentiment around the league that you, you 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 essentially would have a pass to take a game here or there if you wanted to. Why not take that pass? Uh, I'm not I'm not pushing myself. Um, I, I I wouldn't say that. I mean I'm, I'm going on and I'm playing the game. I mean I'm doing my job. Um, I'm trying to do it at a high level. Um, but that's been a, 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 a narrative around the league. I, I've never uh, asked for time off or, 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 you know, time throughout the season, um, you know, and it's, it's grown to a point where, you know, it's not even coming from me anymore. It's just like, okay, well, what, what LeBron should take time off or, you know, why is his, his workload at this? You know, I, I've been hearing it for five, six, seven years now, uh, and I'm still, uh, you know, going strong. So, um, I don't, I don't need a handout. I'm not looking for a handout. I mean, my job is to go out when I'm available, uh, when I'm healthy to go out and play. And, uh, you know, that's what it's all about. Mm. <laughs> hey, LeBron, I have another question about your minutes. Um, <laughs> uh, but seriously, with, without Dennis, how are you doing? Um, all right, I'm going to call you. Uh, all right. Without Dennis, um, and, and taking on more of the, the ball handling, does that change how you feel 
Um, you know, minutes, does, does that require more energy per minute when you're doing more of those responsibilities? Well, it's a different responsibility. Um, um, you know, obviously when Dennis is on the floor, you know, he's a, one of our primary ball handlers. When AD is on the floor, he's one of our primary low guys where we give him the ball and we allow him to, to work. Um, so it just changes for all of us, including myself. Um, but it's something that I'm not, it's not it's something I've done before. And, and um, you know, I can continue to do it, but I would much rather us be whole. I'd much rather our team be healthy and, you know, we playing whole basketball than me having to go out and, and um, you know, you know, be the, the primary all the time ball handler. But, you know, right now it's, it's needed because our, our, we have some guys that's out and it's needed for me to do that. And, uh, and I got to take responsibility of it. I can't have eight turnovers. Um, and, and I got to make sure I put my guys in position to be successful. All right, we have time for two more. Let's go to Dan Moy. Hello, Brian. Um, since the Detroit game, uh, the three-point shot hasn't really fallen for you. Um, I'm curious if there's anything you, you kind of put that on, um, and if there's anything that, that you think um, can get you going or get that part of your game going back to the way it was the first 20 games of the season. Yeah, just got to keep, uh, keep shooting. Um, you know, for me, I, I put the work in. You know, I, uh, you know, this morning I was at the facility. Um, I went uh, 30 straight, 35 straight minutes of just shooting threes. Uh, you know, catching a great rhythm felt great, and uh, a lot of my uh, ones felt great tonight. But besides two of them, um, the last one didn't feel so great, and it was one in the first quarter where I, you know I didn't even hit the rim and didn't feel so great. But the other eight felt great. Um, so um, just keep on, keep on shooting them and, and live with the results. And last question, please. Let's go to Mark Medina. Yeah, LeBron, I understand the comments you made about your workload and comfort level with that, but just, you know, the fact that you're selected for the All-Star game and you're not going to have that break, is there anything that you're planning to do to somewhat compensate for that because you don't have that, that recharge opportunity? Uh, I don't know. You try to find some time in between time to get some rest as much as you can when we're not playing. Um, really don't have too much of a comment about the All-Star break. Um, you guys know how I feel about that, so. Um, I don't even want to tap into that into that uh, to that mindset, but um, you know we have a couple of days. You know after we play our last game, I believe it's at SAC um, before that before that game on Sunday. So I get an opportunity to rest a little bit.